welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the AMX 13 F3 AM. It's the tier 6 French SPG. This one's located on the north spawn of Steps and it's under the command of Beat Asian Noobs. And uh, yes, what an unusual name. And he's, I think, anonymized in this game. 155 millimeter howitzer mounted on top of a tiny little AMX 13 ton tank. Uh, yes, it was one of the tinier ones, but it is actually quite a good little arty because if you think about it, it's an airborne arty, one that they can actually move to a new location to use elsewhere by aircraft, which is not possible for some of the arties. Okay, 630 Alpha, 39 millimeter pen, 7.6 meters burst radius. The standard reload for this RT is 30.58 and we can see Beat Asian Noobs has got 24.76 rounds out on the bush. Didn't appear to get anything but I think that the T71DA was in the vicinity. He has taken some damage but I'm not sure if that was down to Beat Asian Noobs or down to the Type 64 that was nearby him. Okay, you're seeing enemy tanks make their way up the east side of the map. It's a tier 8, uh, is it tier 8? Tier 7 game with tier 6 tanks in it. Yes, it is tier 7. T29 top lead tank on the enemy team. Oh, they're pushing. They're really pushing. And I think that T-52 is overcommitted because I think he got tracked and he got badly damaged and he's out of the game, yeah. Bad move there, but look at this. He's lining up a shot on the SMB CC-67. Did he get a shot? It was actually the 56. Overshoots. It's difficult to get a shot that will actually go down into the dip because you're, if you're aiming from above, of course, it makes it all the more difficult to see the contours of the ground. He, keep, he keeps popping into uh, battle assistant every now and then to get a get better perspective. That's better. Rouse out. That's better. He got some hit points this time. 116. One critical hit. The SMV CC. Well, it's a 56, not the uh, <laughs> what I thought it was. Okay. You can tell he's still moving back because his reticule was jumping about a bit, but he stopped moving now. Now he's got more than enough teammates to protect him on this side of the map. Rounds out. Well, some more hit points. 121 off the Super Hellcat. Good job he does have that Striv M4257 nearby because the enemy are probing. Well, at least that T71DA is trying to have a look and find out where he is. Okay, we've lost sight of most of the enemy tanks over on the east side of the map, but we can certainly see some heavy tanks on this side of the map, and there's a T-29. They should be able to get some damage on this guy. Rounds out. Direct hit. Right on the money. 207. Tracked him. And we're picking up stun assist at last. That's good. Yes, the um, stun duration is between 11 and 22 seconds. So that's your window for your teammates to actually get some damage. And unfortunately, that T-71DA has got a friend appeared in the middle trench or the gorge that runs through the center of the map. And he could be a problem. It's a Giro. Okay, lining up a couple shot in the 88. Goes long, flies well over the top. He's made his way over. The T-71's coming this way, actually. But I think our heavy tanks will persuade him not to come any closer. Okay, what we're we going to do... Well, I think it might be a quick shot on the Tiger 131 if he pokes his nose out. Oh! And just as the uh, Tiger does poke his nose out, we get um, Vitation Noobs goes over to the other side of the map. The SMV CC 56 again. Lines up the shot. Ready. Rounds out. Direct hit. Right on the money again. 196. 
course, that thing does have a lot of armor at the front of the vehicle, the SMV, so it's a good chance that even if you do get a direct hit, you're not going to pick up a huge amount of hit points, but you might pick up some. That Giro is, of course, uh, very dangerous uh, tanks, or at least very dangerous tank destroyers, but the, uh, the fact of the matter is he seems to be holding his own at the moment, so that's okay. Super Hellcat, rounds out. A fraction of a second too late on that one, but the shell would have splashed him from behind because he did disappear just before the shell arrived. So we don't know the extent of the damage, but I'm pretty sure that Super Hellcat would have taken some. They made 621 of the, uh, the AMX-13 F3. Sold them all around the world. It was supposed to be the replacement for the M41 Gorilla. Oh, he got a kill. He took out the CC-56. He splashed the shell directly in front, but oh dear, this is not good. We just lost the Jackson to the Giro. So yeah, the enemy is pushing in this general direction, but we still have teammates. There's that Giro. He has taken some damage himself. Rounds out. Oh, yes, he got him. Kill the Giro. He's gone. That's a useful kill, but that Super Hellcat's still around. I think he's seen it. Yes, he has. Okay, targets of opportunity. Tank destroyers, thin armor, make big bangs when they when you hit them directly. They tend to let the shell straight through. He's lining up the shot, but he can't see him now. Oh, he's still got him! He's still got him! Even though he couldn't see the Super Hellcat, he judged exactly where the guy was. And he got him just as he pushed forward. The guy probably got a split second of warning that a shell was inbound. And then he was out the game. Well, that was very impressive. Three kills in a row. Three tank destroyers have bitten the dust. He's killed nearly half his, uh, the kills on his team. Score. Oh, he nearly got another one. The T-3485M got whacked for 283 hit points with that shot. I'm pretty much sure he's enjoying this one. Now, that's a difficult shot because the tanks that actually take that position are actually half over the edge, which makes it very easy for them to pull back into protection because they go off the edge of the, uh, the hill and you can't hit them. But uh, he's decided to leave the Panzer Fier Schmolten for a brief moment because that T-3485M's close. And if he can loop his shell in there, he might be able to get himself another kill. Fires it in. Not this time. There's a Churchill 7 on the map as well with only four hit points. And unfortunately, our Churchill 7 went down to the Schmolten. Yes, that Churchill 7 was on our team, actually. So he's going to try. Didn't work at the moment. Seven shells on the HE stun. You normally have 25 shells to start with. It's not one of those high-capacity RTs, but the in truth, the AMX-13 F3 AM actually had a load of trucks that would go around carrying all the ammunition and the crew. Only two members of the crew actually went in the vehicle. One of those was the commander of the uh, vehicle and the other one was the driver. And that's all they had room for. There was only two seats and they wouldn't hang off the vehicle. They'd lock down the howitzer and then drive it around um, just the two of them with the others following in, a, in jeeps and trucks. The enemy RT tried to have a go at him only a short while ago. Fired around fairly nearby. There's two enemy RTs, a Hummel and an M44. Oh, he's got another kill! The T-34 thought it'd be funny to hide in the bush and it didn't work because Vitation Noobs finished him off. So there's only four left on either team. The enemy team has got two RT, we've got only one. But the good news is that uh, Vitation Noobs now has four kills he could theoretically get a top gun could even get a radness at the moment as the way things are going and this rt does shotgun very well 
Oh, mama! Enemy Comet just turned up around the corner. Luckily, we've still got the Striv M4257. But if that Comet comes after Btation Noobs, he's going to get a nasty surprise. And that's the enemy RT. He's obviously in the north. The shells were coming in from a completely different direction. He's over in the corner. He's over in uh, Grid Square A7 or something like that. Well, they've lost their Comet. Our E25 saw to him. So it's three left on either team. Yeah, you can see the shells are coming in from the north, the northeast corner of the map. Yeah, he drives like I do sometimes. <laughs> he drives where he's actually got the gun up and he's looking at the rear of the vehicle as he's driving along. Not a hugely powerful engine on this uh, vehicle, but uh, it certainly gets the thing up to 60 kilometers an hour. It's one of the faster RTs. Well, the enemies decided to cap. Which is only su surprising, because there's only one up there in the cap. I would have thought it'd be one of the RTs, actually. I expect it's probably the Hummel, not the M44, but Hummel's not particularly fast. The M44 is a bit faster. E25 is now in the cap, and so we did get spotted. Somebody saw us. Oh, and that's who saw us, and it's actually the M44 on the cliffs just above us. Now, it means the enemy RT knows where we are as well, so you have to keep moving. Yep, that's why. If you don't keep moving, you'll get uh, hit. Now, he's gone outside the cap. So we need somebody to get a reset on the cap area. The Comet is guarding the other side. He's moving to a position. It must be the Hummel in the cap. Must be the Hummel. Okay, we just need to see where he is. There he is. Line up the shot. Good, 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 good. He's just fired, so he's unload. He's loading. Rounds out. And he gets a reset, and it's an 84 capture point reset, so that's the Defender Medal. And the M44, the M44 just hit us, and it did look as if it was a premium round. He's knocked us for 249 hit points out of that one. So we're down to just 51. Now, he's highlighting that guy. RT versus RT at this end of the map, but the Striv's on his way. Now, will the M44 make the mistake of making himself vulnerable? The Striv will start shooting at him very shortly, and he's an autoloader. Four-shot autoloader, 75mm, uh, 57. No, it's a 75mm round, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay, he's holding him there. Now he comes, and this is it! Oh, they both die together, but they win the game. And he does get the last kill. Wasn't that an exciting game? That was an ace tanker game to beat Asian Noobs in the AMX 13 F3 AM. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this game. He got 10, a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He actually ended up with five, one third of the enemy team, and just one short of getting a top gun. And on top of that, he reset the cap on the Hummel and got a defender medal. Uh, so yes, he picked up a battle hero and he did save the team because, of course, at that particular moment, his teammate was actually rather busy. But what a great game it was. And uh, let's have a look at the team score and see the figures. Well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game. The E25 on his team got 2,615 hit points. So he got the highest damage and he got a high caliber. Second highest damage in the game went to Btation Noobs for 2,013 hit points. And the third highest damage went to the Comet on the enemy team with 1,824. When it came to kills, though, he actually was top. Five kills went to beat Asian Noobs. Three kills went to the E25. And then there's a whole bunch of tanks with two kills apiece, including the Striv M4257, the Tiger 1, the T71DA, the Comet, the M44, and the Hummel on the enemy team. 
And when it came to base XP, it's beat Asia Noob. So he's got the top in two and just missed out on the other one by the uh, E25 coming tops. 1,155 went to Beast Asia Noobs. He's the only player to get over 1,000 base. The next highest being the E25, you've got 961, followed by the SMV CC56, who got 725. 18 shots fired, some of them really good shots, blind shots, and hitting tanks that, uh, well, he couldn't see, but he guessed where they were, and he correct guessed correctly, and he managed to work it out. Six direct hits on the enemy, one penetrating shot, 12 splash. I think the penetrating shot was probably, probably, I'm not certain, but I think it was the Hellcat. Yes, it was, I was right. And in fact, actually, the shell went right through the side of the vehicle. As he moved from that position, uh, he, he was trying to work out exactly where to put the shell, but he put him right through the side of the Super Hellcat and took him out the game. So that was a really good one. He also got 12 splashes as well. 2,013 hit points of damage, of which 1,860 were at more than 300 meters. One hit received. It was a splash as regards of damage. That was the M44 fired at him in the cap. He didn't expect that the M44 was going to be behind him in that position, but he did manage to get a big hit, unfortunately. I thought it was a premium round, actually. It, it certainly felt like a premium round. He spotted one enemy vehicle. I think that would be the M44 as well. Seven enemy vehicles damaged, five killed, and 162 hit points of damage assistance, and 1,066 of stun assist off seven stuns. And I think that's where he got the ace tanker out of that. 84 defense points, resetting the cap and saving the team from being uh, losing to a cap out. He On a free-to-play account, he earned 35,407 credits from that game. And he also took away 4,620 experience points. But yeah, that was a really good game. Exciting down to the end because, of course, uh, uh, the it was the M44 behind it was complete shock. But then he had to hold that M44 there. And that M44 at any moment could have driven over the edge and right into him and jumped on top of him to kill him and then try and deal with the uh, Striv 4257. But it was exciting, and uh, yes, he did get that last kill. It would have been nice if it was a top gun, but it, it, five kills is very, very good. And he, he had a great game, really, in, in terms of, you know, just general excitement. Well done, indeed, and thanks for sending in the replay. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.